What's up, guys? I'm back at it. And I forgot to record my audio through this all, and I just wanted to show you guys this really weird glitch that I got. Like, I couldn't do anything here. I was sitting there trying to choose a class, and all of a sudden I finally get a class going. I can't see any HUD. I can't press start to do anything. When I aim down sights, I can't see the reticle. Nothing happened. I have no idea what happened. It was confusing me. I had to figure out exactly how to... Look, that, I believe it was a teammate, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I am, like, confused beyond belief at this point. And just stay tuned for when I actually play an actual match, because I am going to do an actual match for you guys, just to make it fair for you. Yeah, like, I couldn't tell who teammates were or anything like that. I just want to show that little glitch. But as I said at the very, very beginning, I forgot to record my audio during this episode. So now I'm just voicing over it. Um, I ended up just quitting the game because I had no menu, no nothing. So, but good news is that it did end up working this time. But I wanted to make this video more about like what I want to do with this channel. Now, by the end of the year... So by the end of 2019, I want to start recording and posting daily. Now, I'm not only going to do Call of Duty, but that is going to be one of my main focuses because I enjoy the game so much. I used to be really good. I actually started on Call of Duty World at War and have every single Call of Duty since. So that being said, let's just hop into this game and this game will be in the just background, but I just want to give you guys a rough understanding about what I want to do as a content creator and I want you guys to do to help me. Now I say help me because I'm not 100% sure exactly what you guys want to see. And this, like the whole camo thing, that'll be all explained in the next episode. I've already recorded it, everything like that. So don't fret with that. But as far as you guys helping me, I want I want you guys to comment down below. I want you guys to like videos that you like or dislike videos that you dislike. I'm not going to be one of those people who sit there and say, make sure to leave a like, give me 100,000 likes and this will happen, or give me 100 likes and this will happen. I'm not that kind of guy. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, don't just dislike it. I mean, or if you're just kind of neutral, you're just kind of in the neutral zone. Or you don't care, just leave it alone. Personally, I don't care. But I do want to talk to you guys. Like, I want to be able to respond to you guys in like future episodes and shout you guys out and all that. Like, I want to be able to connect with the viewers. And I will read every single comment that you guys post. I will read, go down, read through the comments, and go off of your guys' opinion on what you want to see. Like, I will work as hard as I can at making things happen. Like, with this gun, the M4A1, um, I'm trying to get a goal. But that might be switching very, very soon. Now, there is either one or two episodes that I've already pre-recorded, so those are going to be coming out in the following days. Um if I can get around to the time to actually upload it. Because I don't have any time in real life, guys. I have an actual job. But I have to show up at 6.30 a.m., leave at 3.30, and then I get home, and then I have to fall asleep by around, like, 8.39, just to be able to wake up to, for work the next day. Now, I am very, very, very busy at home. I'm very, very busy with projects at home. Like, fixing two cars that I own. Both of them are transmission jobs, so they're not too light of work. Um, so I will try to get videos out to you guys as soon as I can. As much as I can. Sometimes, maybe even twice a day. Maybe sometimes, like, midday and then in the morning. Or the next morning. Something. I don't know. It just all depends on when I have the chance to actually go through everything, set everything up, 
edit everything. Well, edit. I don't like to actually edit because I want you guys to see what I see throughout the entire game. In case I miss something or something along those lines. So, I try to make it uncut because I want you guys to see, like, all my accomplishments and how long it takes to actually get those. And all my screw-ups, like how I should see somebody there that I don't see and then all of a sudden he just shoots me in the face or something. I want you guys to see everything but editing for me is putting my audio, like my voice, with the video and also ending it when I want and starting it when I want. I have not been doing that lately but now I'm using a program where I can edit my how loud my voice is compared to how loud the game is. So that'll be very, very nice for me. But, yeah, I mean, I just really want to, I want to have fun. I'm going to bring in, like, friends and stuff like that later on. Um, I'm not too confident that they're mature enough to keep their language down because, like, when, when I was streaming one time, when I was streaming one time, um, I was also streaming with a buddy of mine. His name is Sammy or Julio something. And um, so he doesn't understand the seriousness of like usage of your language in your videos or recordings or whatever it is. And he kept on saying the n-word like like. You motherfucking, yeah. He kept on saying it, and I kept, and I kept on telling him like, "Hey, watch it, man. Watch it. Watch your language. Just be careful. I don't want to get banned, and I don't want you to get banned. You might be streaming on Mixer, but I'm streaming on Twitch, and Twitch really doesn't like that. If I get flagged at all or reported at all, I'm gonna be banned. Stuff like that. And I don't trust him with it. And the friends that I play with." are all about the same. And some friends, we have to be in game chat. And personally, I don't trust people in game chat. Now, if I was streaming, on the other hand, <clears throat> I would be... I'd be sitting there, um, like, streaming, even if it was in game chat. And if someone sits there and starts going off on saying, like, you motherfucking all the time and stuff like that I would just go down and mute them real quick I mean my community on my stream is nice enough to give me a shot but if I start doing that kind of stuff yeah I'm not that kind of person and when I play this game I do end up cussing a lot especially when I'm, whenever I'm with my friends so that's just a heads up for you guys but I mean, I want to be able to, like, explore a game called Atlas with you guys. I've never played it before. The first time I loaded it up, it crashed on me. So that kind of sucked. But, I mean, I want to be able to explore the map with you guys. I want to be able to set up, like, a, a server on, like, Conan Exiles where the viewers can play with me and everything. So, I mean... It's, it'd be fun to me to be able to connect with you guys and play on the same games with you guys. Or if you guys want to play like Call of Duty with me and my friends, then just leave me a message. Just shoot me a comment down below. Um, or if you see my um, my gamer tag, it's just your, your only friend zero. And the O and only is zero. Just send me a message on Xbox. I mean, just send me a message on Xbox saying like, hey man, I watch your video. Uh, do you think I can join in on Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Or something like that. Because I am always down to play with people. Whether you have a mic, don't have a mic, whether you're 8 years old, or you're 50. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I like connecting with people. I like... I like getting your guys' input as well. Because it does mean a lot. It means a lot to the... To the content creator. Or the, the recorder, I guess. The person who's recording. It 
honestly makes our world for your guys' input and your guys' help. Whether we take that into proportion and we actually put that into the game or the gameplay itself, that's on the sh that's on the streamer or the YouTuber. That's honestly like as long as you guys try to help, your voices are heard. And especially with me, I will definitely like shout out you guys unless you guys have an inappropriate name or something like that. Then it's just nope. You're in the back of my mind. I'll take I'll take what you said like as advice. But I'm not gonna shout you guys out if you guys have an inappropriate name. And even if you guys have like a challenge for me, like, like get this or get they're like like go through a game with only using a pistol or only using a riot shield or only using rocket launchers. Like, they only use a rocket launcher in melee. I used to do that stuff all the time and actually end up getting nukes and everything. But. Oh, that was loud on my ears, so I'm actually listening to the video as well right now. Um, we are guys. I mean, just stay in contact with me. Keep on commenting. I will reply back. Hold on. Just keep on commenting, guys, and I will reply back as much as possible, as much as I can. Because... I want to connect with you guys. Like I said before, I'll try to reply to you in the comments, and I'll also try to shout you guys out. Especially if I take you guys' advice into account. Like, if I'm mounting on the wrong walls, or if I'm, like, looking in the wrong areas, I'll definitely shout you out, and I'll definitely, like, call myself out and sit there and say that this person pointed out something really nice that I've been looking over here when, they're, when they usually camp over here. That kind of stuff, like... You know, personally, this, all these camos and everything like that, I, I mean, I like going for the camo. I do. I like going for gold and diamond and dark matter and all that. I love going for that kind of stuff. But all of the challenges for the camos are camping challenges. I mean, what is it? You get headshots, that's, that's, you can do that anytime. You get kills, you can do that any, like, anyway. Uh, get what you call it? What's the next one? Get crouching kills, which is you're moving slowly or you're just sitting there in a corner. Okay. Then you get hip fire kills, which is that one's actually a run and gun kind of style, which is that that's what I like. And then the next one is get long shots. So you have to sit there in the back of the map and get long shots, which sucks to me at least. Um. Then it's, ah, what was the next one? Get mounted kills. So in other words, you have to be posted on a wall. And, or you have to be posted on a, a wall, either on the top or the side of a wall, or a door frame, or something like that. You have to be posted down standing still and kill them. Which is camping. Well, to me, that's camping. Then the next one is get, um get kills using all attachments on your weapon so like every single attachment slot selected with an attachment that one is a, that one can be anything it could be camping it could be a running gun which i used it with a running gun the next one is the stripes camera which i'm struggling with which honestly you can run and gun but it's best to camp with it um, it is to get kills shortly after reloading, and literally you have like half a second to kill someone after reloading. It is insane. Like, in a, in one of the next episodes, I'm not sure if it's the next one or the one after that, where I get seven kills in a game, and every single one of them was a kill shortly after reloading. And if I'm not mistaken, I did have a triple kill, I believe, in it. Like... I reload and then all of a sudden I just spray three people down. That one pissed me off because when I went back to check it, I went from like like ten hit fire or like ten of the kills to twelve. Like it absolutely did not help at all. I got two. 
Out of seven, I got two. So it's either broken, or I'm just not doing it right, or I'm waiting slightly too long. And I mean, it it was to the point where I would wait to see them. I would camp there in the back of the spawn. I'd wait to see them, reload, and then shoot, like, instantly. Seven kills like that. But no, it doesn't give it to me. So, and then the one after that, sorry, I got lost on the cameras. The, but the camera after that is uh, no attachments on your weapon, which that one was actually pretty difficult. Like, I learned real fast that attachments make your gun. Like, seriously, in all truth, one is attachments. If you, have, if you have attachments that you like on your weapon, you will do good. And then, um, the last one, the last one is stupid. Personally, I don't, I think that this one should, the Skulls camo, this one should be released way sooner on. Because, um, it was just to get, it was just to get three kills without dying. Like, 50 times or something like that. Which I got in, like, four or five games. <laughs> so, I mean, it's really easy, but that's got to be it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.